Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia and uh, this is the Frontline Changes Report. Uh, in Ukraine, uh, in the Ukraine war or the special military operation in Ukraine, if you are Russian. Uh, so we're going to start off, uh, there's actually two different uh, frontline chains but both are significant. Both are red, uh, Krasnohorivka and Umansky. Both are Russian claims. This is not corroborated on the Ukrainian side just yet. So uh, we're going to start off with Krasnohorivka. And uh, so at Krasnohorivka, the in the Donetsk front, so in case you do not know where are we, so Donetsk city, this is the capital of the uh, Donetsk People's Republic, and uh, the small little city here, Krasnohorivka, and the battle of Krasnohorivka continued. Yesterday we mentioned that the Russians broke through into this uh, eastern outskirt or eastern part of Krasnohorivka, and I mentioned that there is a possibility that the Russians can easily do a pincer encircling uh, the Ukrainian defenders that is actually uh, holding up in the heavy trenches uh, on the eastern part of uh, eastern outskirts of Krasnohorivka. And this actually happened. Based on the Russian uh, information, Russian uh, Russian forces uh, from this uh, advanced position continue to attack into this uh, the outskirt, the eastern neighborhood of Krasnohorivka and the forces coming from the south joined in and actually basically encircled. Uh, this entire Ukrainian force that is currently you know huddling inside the trenches and are uh, basically linked up the both sides and now there is supposedly Ukrainian forces encircled and the Russian forces now linked up and uh, this is the mapping that is uh, shown on the Russian mapping and the battle is now already in this high-rise zone over on this uh, eastern part of Krasnohorivka according to the Russian uh, information the Russians are still continue to attack in these areas here, uh, so it's not just fighting in the east, but they are still continuing to try to push out, although there is no frontline changes are being noted over on this uh, central or the western part of Krasnohorivka. So this one frontline change. The other frontline change is over at Umanske, uh, over at the Adyevka front. So just nearby in the northeastern part of uh, Krasnohorivka. So Umansky is around here and there is this massive change. Russian forces have been geolocated to have raised the red banner in the center part of Umansky. So this comes at the same day of the uh, victory day. I think this happened on the victory day. Russian forces raised the flag around here, which means that they have, uh, based on the mapping as well, they have overcome basically all of this Ukrainian uh, trenches that is defending the eastern part of Umansky. The Russian forces basically penetrate through the entire area and capture basically almost the entirety of Umansky. There is still some parts that is still not confirmed to be captured uh, by the Russian side yet. Uh, but you know, this raising of the flag in the center of Umansky do suggest that the Russians may have uh, almost full, if not full control of the entire of, um of Umansky. Very, very significant uh, frontline change uh, uh, over this uh, over the past 24 hours. Only these two frontline change, but both very significant. And uh, so, and uh, if this Umansky situation continues, and if if, if uh, the information is correct that the Ukrainian forces seems to be uh, bolted away from this area here down to Yasnobrodivka, Russian forces is likely to capture the rest of uh, Umansky over the next 24 to 48 hours. So, um, and uh, there is they unlikely to redraw up northward uh, because there is no much settlement north or they can actually if they want to go all the way to Novo Selivka, Prussia. Uh, but it is a long way uh, to walk there. Uh, we are talking about a distance from Umansky, about three kilometers. Uh, it's not impossible. I mean, walking distance, it is possible to walk. But you know, yeah, dangerous, dangerous walk anyway. So these are uh, two frontline changes over in the Ukraine war. Or uh, the special military operation in Ukraine. Do press the like button, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys at the Sibrap. I'll see you guys.